Hey guys, so it is day 83 since the conditions of my peace bond release were imposed. Today is day 83. Let's go see how many detours I have to take today. Welcome to what? Gucci Decor Pop Ups. Oh, okay. We're representing uh, Gucci's new decor, home decor collection. Oh, okay. We're next year for the next two months over the holiday season. These are these are a part of Gucci's home decor? Yes, yeah, so yeah. even the wallpaper, these armchairs, trim tables, all oh, you know, closely related and okay. inspired by the clothing and the runways of Gucci. Um, so we do have some items available for, for purchase you know, that you can take home. Okay. The bigger items, of course, they do require some uh, manufacturing to be created. So they are all made to order. Great. Um, but yeah. Is that launching this weekend or this winter or so this fall? So we started on Wednesday is when we launched this uh, kind of boutique setup. And then, like I said, we're here for the whole holidays. Um, and then, honestly, you can start purchasing now. Oh, wonderful. Yeah, so we're just kind of showcasing it, you know, revealing it to um, customers and just getting a better feel for it. Yeah. What's been one of the more popular items so far with uh, people um, interested in So we investing? have had a few chairs purchased already. Oh, yeah? Um, like one of these then, right here? So, yeah, we've had, yep. I believe, I'm not sure if two possible <laughs> purchased, but, um, yeah. You know, yeah, one of the cats okay. is kind of pink and red. Um, pillows have been really popular. One of the well. domesticated cats. You've got you've got a domesticated cat. You've got a you've got sort of wild cats yes. here. You're, so, but you are featuring the felines for sure. Yeah, right? definitely. What's happening? Obviously, viewers, I can't be recording at all times, and I hope you believe it when I tell you that I'm quite certain several of the cult members in this city know what the conditions of my release are. And uh, well, I think some of them are enjoying the prospect of being in a position to call the police knowing that that is going to result in my going to jail because uh, a couple of days ago a couple of days ago I'm just making sure that there are no cult members in Robson Promenade this morning viewers it's Saturday November 10th day 83 since the conditions of my peace bond release were imposed on the 17th of August by Judge Warrior at the provincial court and uh, I have definitely been um, walking past cult members in my neighborhood shopping working going to the library in fact there was one cult member who was sitting on a bench looking right up at me as i was walking past her and quite frankly viewers she had the most devilish smirk on her face uh, i think i've ever seen come from her She was staring right at me with a smirk on her face, just hoping that I would say even hello. Because to say hello is to have direct contact, I suppose. So I have not scouted out this area yet today, viewers. I, I, I do not know what to expect. But as you can see, the area is free of the influence of the cult members today. 
Saturday afternoon, Saturday, uh, Saturday morning. It's about 11.30. This is a first. Well, actually, it's not so much a first uh, as it is uh, a first for me. I've noticed um, this area free of the presence of the cult members on, on previous occasions, but never at this time of day. Usually at around uh, 6, 5.30, 6, 7 in the evening, they'll be gone. But as you can see, I'll tell you the exact time. As you can see, the time is now 11.30 on Saturday, November 10th. So uh, this is a good sign. So I do not have to take a detour now. I will not be violating condition number seven of my T-spawn release by walking through Robson Promenade now. So that is, um, one less bit of anxiety that I will be experiencing today. So I'm, um, more, definitely more than a hundred meters away from the Best Buy location on the corner of Granville and Robson. Okay, now I don't know if the cult members are set up in front of Best Buy, so hopefully I'm far enough away now standing outside of the sport check that is on the other side of that block of um, Robson. I'm one block west of um, Granville, I'm at the corner of Robson and Howe right now in front of the sport check, so let's go see if the cult members are standing in front of Best Buy, which hopefully uh, is at least 100 meters away. So as you can see, viewers, that's Best Buy. And I can't tell if the cult members are set up there. So for the purpose of establishing if they're there, I have to move over. I have to move just a little bit closer to see if they're there. I have not yet confirmed that they are there. If they are there, I will turn around and I will go, as Officer Luke Bokenfors said, the other way. And I can see them. I can see them. I'm turning the other way, viewers. Observe the criminal. Observe the criminal turning the other way now to go this way to access the London Drugs. The London Drugs viewers is just on the other side of Nordstrom's over there. But as you just saw, the cult members are in front of Best Buy. So I can't go to Granville and Robson and go down Granville and Robson. I can't go down Granville to access the London Drug Store because the cult members are set up right there. I have to go this way so as to not breach condition number seven by coming within, I'm sorry to say it so many times, 100 meters of Jehovah's Witnesses who fear injury from me. So let's go this way. Now, the good news is I will not be breaching condition number seven of my peace bond release by going this way. The bad news is I may be breaching condition seven of my peace bond release when I take a right, when I take a right on Georgia and attempt to go to London Drugs via Georgia because the cult members will set up in front of City Center Skytrain, which is just over here. Okay? So I'm not going to turn off the camera. I have not scouted this area out. I do not know where they are. You see that they weren't at Robson Promenade, which is surprising. But they are set up in front of Best Buy today. I'm definitely not going to go find out if they're set up at Burrard Skytrain today. I do not have to use Burrard Skytrain today. I did have to access Burrard Skytrain on the 30th of October in order to gather some critical information for my defense. Information that uh, I will have at my disposal when it counts on the 17th of December at my trial. Yes, viewers, I'm actually going to trial, if you can believe it. Okay, now, so 
you just saw, I took the detour at the corner of Robson and Howe to come down here so as to not go along Robson to come within 100 meters of the cult members. So I've taken the detour now along Howe Street to turn right on Georgia. I'm going to turn right on Georgia. Now, as you can see, I can't tell from here if the cult members are set up in front of City Center Skytrain right now. You see? I have to keep going this way to see if they're there. I'm going to move over here so as to fully cooperate with the court. I can't see them. Can you guys see them? Are they there? Okay. Okay. So here I am. Not, although they could be on the other side as well, you know, viewers? They could be on the other side of that wall right there. So I won't know until I come this way if the cult members are set up in front of City Center Skytrain and they're not. So now I can walk into London Drugs, uh, hopefully having not breached condition number seven of my peace bond release today, viewers. Oh, and of course, don't forget Granville Street, right? And this is Granville. <laughs> okay. So, they're set up. Right up there. Okay. They're set up right up there. They're not set up in front of City Skytrain. But are they set up in front of the Granville Skytrain station today? I'm going to stand here for a few minutes, viewers, and wait until we have uh, an unobstructed view of where they normally stand. I'm not going to stand here for forever, but because I can't tell. I can't tell. Maybe you can tell from the lower angle of this recording device right now. But, uh, see, I can't see them. I really can't tell. I can't tell yet, viewers. A lot of traffic, a lot of foot traffic, a lot of vehicles obstructing the view. See? I can't tell. I really can't tell. I think I see them. I think I see them, viewers. I don't know for certain. I don't have to go down there. I don't have to go down there. I have to go to London Drugs. I don't have to go down Granville Street, but I'm trying to notice if, there's, if they're there. If I did need to access Granville Skytrain, I promised the judge I would access via Seymour Street. So if I needed to access Granville Skytrain Station, I wouldn't be able to go down here. I would have to go over there and access it from Seymour Street because I am such a danger. Because I was talking to um, a representative before and he was saying that that one in particular, the uh, GoPro Hero 7, has the optical stabilization feature, mm -hmm. the steady cam feature, so that when you're walking with it, the footage is. Um, there is uh, two types of heroes which you are looking for. Sorry? There is 10 megapixel and 12 megapixel. So, which one are you looking for? There are two types of Hero 7. Which one's got the um, optical stabilization feature? Both of them. They do? Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, the difference is the megapixels. For the, for the picture quality, oh yeah? Well, let me see the uh, 7 black. Yeah, thanks. Thanks a lot. You can just have a look over okay. here. You don't have one uh, open on display that I can see the footage? Mm. What's that? Micro SD card. Micro SD card, okay. What's the uh, starting, uh, starting um, size? What's the starting one? Starting is 16, but I don't think so because if you're 16? doing this video streaming and also 16 is not enough. 16 is not good? At least you have to start with 32. At least, at least start with 32? Yeah. Okay. How many hours of uh, recording will 32 gigs uh, hold for me? Plus three hours. About three hours for a. Two to three hours. No, it's better. Yeah, this one's a lot lighter. Yeah. Yeah, I like that one. I like that one. Okay, so the uh, how much would a uh, so that's that's 5:30, and then the uh, micro SD 32 gigabyte card would run me. Uh, thanks.
the 32, the 32 is 40 for the camera, the 32 is 70 for that, so maybe about 100 for the uh, 64, probably something like that, right? 130 for the 64, okay. So 530 plus 130, 660, plus tax and everything. Okay.